chapter 27 the noise analysis signal to noise ratio in this chapter we will study about uh, the noise generating device circuit other resistor and the semiconductor device noise analysis tells us about design and how the noise from all the devices will affect output signals once we know the noise we can generate a signal to noise ratio so we can know uh, how much will be signal and the noise comparison so at uh, the output noise now here the noise analysis is done in conjugation with AC analysis now we also know that uh, the noise function generates a noise density spectrum for each device over range of frequency and performs an RMSM at the output node so we will make that and in, in the following diagram we have a amplifier test circuit we have input and given to the voltage divider then it goes to the base of an amplifier now this is the analog simulation we do for particularly at temperature setting 100 degrees celsius now this is the harmonic distortion we got we are interested in finding how much will be the harmonic distortion of a circuit so we got 6.69 started chapter number 27 noise analysis this is the noise and in this circuit we are making a noise analysis of the op amp so we are going to make a blank project now in the blank project we open a new schematic now add the components from the library schematic 1 page 1 rename it amplifier in the amplifier add the components we need we need all the components which we used to have it's a transistor 3904 the transistor is the noisiest of all the components in the circuit because it has as a region like N region and P region and breakdown This is the schematic the amplifier test circuit we're gonna make. We need a voltage by the other circuit at the upper portion of the transistor. the circuit the amplitude of 25 millivolt frequency of 10k we have AC of 25 millivolts, so this is the voltage we are giving. 25 millivolts supply. This one is a CC in. This one is 2 microfaraday. We need a RB120K. RB two ten K, RB one twenty K, RB two ten K, the base resistance, and we need a RE as an a two K. We need a CBS as a forty seven microvolt, microfaraday. I'm sorry. microfaraday to 
should be out. This is the circuit and we have to change the temperature noise analysis parameter for 100. So this is the circuit we make it as follow. This amplifier test circuit. We gonna analyze this noise of the output coupling capacitor and VCC. This is VD. This is VE. Input voltage V in. 30 volt DC. This is VCC. Name it as a figure as a amplifier test circuit. Now in this we need the changes of and noise analysis we have to enable we give set to 10 hertz to 10 hundred megahertz and 100 point delays now enable noise analysis at V output and the I by V source as Vs and 100 as the interval run the simulation This is the V noise. The V noise at input and V noise at output. See the values. That's VRM is at 100 kilohertz. This is signal voltages. V output and V input. That's the input and output or signal voltages. And that's all the values. We output by V noise. This gives value. output by V input in the DB This is the harmonic distortion. This is the harmonic distortion of the particular circuit 27 degrees Celsius. That's a 1 hertz frequency. And the harmonic distortion we are getting at the 1 hertz. But it, this is at 27 degrees Celsius. In the advanced activity, we do the same analysis with. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius. That's the total values of R squared noise values, transistor noise values, transistor squared noise values, frequency 1k. These are all the total values. Transistor squared noises for QQ1. Now, for this circuit, we mean for 100 degrees Celsius temperature change the options for the noise and this is the parameter sheet change to 100 degrees Celsius 
see the changes. In the previous circuit we got uh, 127 now at 100 kilohertz and 100 degrees Celsius there will be the total V by VR value will be like 6.69 6.69 that's the values we got this is the change in 6.69